Hey, what's up YouTube? I uh, thought I might as well give you guys a quick view on what the latest so far I've been up to over the past week or so. So we'll go straight into it. Basically, I purchased uh, 12 kilos of Lego, which I'm currently sorting out. As you can see, basically going through piece by piece, making sure it all goes into the correct order and colors and everything, sorting out the minifigures and that. Um, they're the pieces that I'll be getting rid of, and here's the pieces that I'm currently going through, separating by colour and shape and stuff, which is really good. Uh, the new additions so far, um, pretty sure the train set was there last video, as you can see. Oh, as an MOC, I'm currently building a Mad Max um, interceptor. Just waiting for parts to come in for that one. So we got the uh, the Ghostbusters uh, female version. I think it was released a couple of years back. So not only do we have the original Ecto-1, but we also have the newer Ecto-1. Hopefully, fingers crossed, this year we'll get the new Ecto-1 Afterlife version minifig scale. So I've added the new ship as well into the set. That's pretty much so far all of the the underwater and above water sets, um, which will be going to the Hobby City. Still waiting to organise some tables so we can actually get that made, which will be really good. Um, but anyway, they're the new minifigures so far. We also got the new Bruce um, Willis figure for Die Hard. He's there to be done as well. And here's the other sets that we have. So what I've done is I actually went out and bought a whole heap of hidden side sets. Um, don't really care about the builds. I'm actually more concerned with the actual minifigures themselves. Um, a lot of them have ghosts and stuff in them. So I'm actually going to be uh, ripping out the ghost figures for those sets and just uh, scrapping the pieces for parts. So, and I've also got the new Speed Champs which is really cool. I know it's been out for a while, but I'm looking forward to building it at some point. But these hidden sides, because we've already got the Ghostbusters firehouse, you actually get ghost figures inside this. So to make a haunted city, as you can see, it's gonna look really good with the, um, the extra ghost figures. And as I said, with the extra pieces that you get, see how you get like a two-headed ghost? Looks really cool. But um, with the actual rest of our pieces, we'll just scrap it and put it to the Lego collection. But, you know, the, the ghosts themselves will definitely keep. Which is really cool. But yeah, there's, there's so much more of them to get. I think there's probably at least another 20 sets out there. There's a big one. Ugh, that's the fire truck. It's got a couple of ghost figures with it as well, which is really cool. The fire truck, I might actually keep the fire truck. I might actually build that. But instead of having this uh, robot on the back of it, I might actually turn it into a proper fire truck. I reckon just actually having a, a proper fire truck on the back of it would actually look really quite nice for the city. Which is good. So, Oh, and we also got the turtles, the Ninja Turtle set. So, I don't know if you can see it up here. But this is for the underneath the railway station. So, the railway station is going to kind of like be in the sewers. And um, yeah, we actually bought some Ninja Turtles, one of the kits for it. I think it's the Ninja Turtle Lair that we bought, which is really cool. So yeah, looking forward to building that. Hopefully when we get the new tables to start building the subway area. But yeah, that's so far what I've basically built. So slowly getting there, parts. Lots and lots of parts, which is really cool. So, first building. Looking forward to getting the police station. <sighs> so yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you like it. Um, it's just taking time, unfortunately, to get these tables, getting pieces and parts and whatnot, but we're slowly getting there. And hopefully at some point I can have a GoPro and uh, film this properly for you guys. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a great night. Take care.